I like responding to my little sister's videos because she's so cool and shit. And I'm glad to see she's back on track again. Now I'm going to have to be a regular like last time. So, um, I personally think the main reason that black businesses don't work is because, first of all, we don't advertise for them. Let me give you uh, an example. Um, there's this store called Sally's in uh, the town I live in right now. And they, they, they're the store that sells the black hair care products. As you see, I don't use them. But, um... My sister-in-law was going to this one place buying her hair care products. I don't know if it's Walmart or one of those places, but she goes and she's buying these health care products and shit to make her hair grow. And, you know, her hair wasn't short, but, you know, it wasn't like she wanted it. And so she's putting this stuff in her hair, and her hair started getting shorter. And she's like, damn, what the fuck's going on? And she ran into a sister at, at the same Walmart while she was finna go get some more hair shit. And his sister saw her down that aisle. She said, girl, only thing you should be buying from here is uh, this stuff right here and this here. And she's like, how do you know what to get? What, you know, how your hair look? Because um, when you get products made for black people, by black people, it actually works on black people. Um, there's a, not on this jar of mustard, there's a little logo of a black woman with her hair done or something, a little black woman. And only buy that stuff because it's chemically treated to work on black hair. Um, the same thing with anything black people do. A lot of things, lot, a lot of things. A lot of times black folks will start a business and expect black people to come find them because they're black. Hey, I got Johnny's hamburger spot. First of all, we as a people, we need to learn how to get dollars out of our community. And what I mean by that is like we need to I live in, I live in a, a Hispanic community. Instead of me opening up a black barbecue place down the street, it would be in my best interest to open up a Hispanic place and incorporate African American food in. See, we don't do the proper marketing. We don't do the proper footwork to get where we got to go. It's like, I got this thing, I'm supposed to be able to make thousands of dollars at home selling products off the internet. I can't figure this shit out. Why? Not because of my lack of education, not because of my lack of patience. It's because it's complicated. Sometimes we need somebody to walk us through a situation almost until we actually can get to the point to where we're actually doing it on our own so we can guarantee that we make something of it. I can open a business right now and not make any money from the black community because most of the time, oh man, that's Lonzo's. Well, let me go on in and see if I can get something on the da da da. And black people are like that. Um, you have a product and, and they will say, you know what, that shit is cheap. I shouldn't be paying you that much for it. But then they will go right down the street to the Walmart to any other company not owned by a black person and spend money for shit made in China that falls apart and they be bitching. Damn, that broke after three days. But you didn't want to buy the one at the black store down the street for three dollars more. That logic right there is what fucks us up. And in business, black people do not want to actually do business with black people. So we don't cater to ourselves. You can have a restaurant and barbecue restaurants. Barbecue restaurants in Oakland, they be kicking. They be kicking. And when I hear about barbecue restaurants from the Bay Area, white people tell me about them. I used to live in the Bay Area. And these people, hey man, I was down in Oakland. Whoa! Woo! Or I was over here in Vallejo at this place and it was wild, just like when you do it. See what I'm saying? And when black people are like, man, that shit was all right. My wife's like, I ain't going there. Because black people don't be enthusiastic about black products. Now you, you could probably sell a car to a car dealership. You're good. You're good. I'm, I'm glad we did those interviews. That was cool. Um, the thing with black business is like, uh, you look and there's all kind of videos. I think you sent me a series of videos and the man was talking about how the black dollar bounces. The Hispanic dollar bounces four or five times in the Hispanic community. The white dollar 
bounces 15, 20 times in the white community. The black dollar does not bounce one time in the black community. Because as soon as a black man gets a dollar, he'll go to the Arab liquor store. He'll go to the Kmart, the Walmart, the mall. They'll buy Louis Vuitton. They'll buy this, they'll buy that, they'll buy this, they'll buy that. And the other black entrepreneurs out there are putting forth high-end shit. Like uh, P. Diddy and his Rocco Vodka and all these people and all, these, all the stuff they're doing, they're catering to a higher level. And black people be hustling and scraping to buy some shit that's not made for them by one of them. Remember? FUBU, for us, by us, where they at? Baby fat and all that stuff? You helping one black person. I mean, Oprah is the bomb. Oprah can open up a, a, a chain or something. Everybody will spend money with her. You and me open up a chain of, you know, Johnny Walls and, you know, that Johnny Walls that from wall to wall, ceiling, everything is new, blah, 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 and everything made, all this made, blah, 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 blah. Nobody be at Johnny Walls. We put the wrong face on things. We put the wrong spin on things. Um, for instance, the worst thing I hate and I'm gonna be honest with you, is these black movies. Some of these black movies come out, you know, they so predictable, I'm like, oh shit. Go ahead, cue the, cue the sad music. Go ahead, show the nigga smiling for nothing. And I, and I, and I hate using the word nigga, <laughs> but um, I'm in one of those ghetto type moods. Black businesses don't work because black people fail to support the black businesses. And that is the bottom line. Instead of running to the mall to buy those new jeans that such and such got, go down to that little black woman's boutique on the corner and get them jeans. You know what I mean? And on top of that, businesses. When it, there's a restaurant, an empty restaurant around the corner from here. They want 14, 14, $14,600 dollars a month. Now to start a business off, $14,000 a month? A restaurant? It's possible. That building has been filled before for months and months on a time. But if it was a quote unquote black business, first of all, put it like this my nephew said he wanted to open up a, a business. Right? And I'm like, in order to do that, you got to make some pit friends, got to do some, some little events. And we'd been at an event, and he asked the owner, well, to rent this building, how much would it cost? And she looked at him in his face, because he he did it ignifiedly. I love that when I make up those ebonic words. He did it all ignifiedly. Yeah, how much it costs, you know, for get this place to do something, do a thing in here? My friends can get it for 5000 One night. And everybody else pays in between seven to nine thousand dollars, depending on what they want to do. He's like, hey, five dollars, man, put a little rap concert. Rap concert. Fuck up a beautiful. This is a building with a nice wooden bar. Nice this, nice that. You go outside, you walk. There's another bar on the deck. You walk down the little half hillside. There's a dance floor. You go over here and look over here on this other side, and there's like. Um, like a 60, 70 foot yard all astro turfed out beautiful flowers and shit around. he won't put a rap concert in there that's his business idea to start making money for his business I said a setting like this you have a lingerie party video shoot man I'll never work a lingerie party the lady spun around and said lingerie party wow that sounds good put a lingerie party in the building because she know a lingerie party, $75 a ticket to get in. All the food and everything you want is free. She knows lingerie party, a man will pay $150 to watch his wife walk around a room full of other women with lingerie just to buy other lingerie or sell lingerie. You have to put together something that's going to work where you're working it. But, like he said, we don't put a rap concert in here. And that's why the Ignified never allow black businesses to work. You've been tubed.